Hello everyone, Happy New Year! Oh boy, oh boy, this is so exciting. I'm having a hard enough time containing my enthusiasm, so I'm not even gonna try. The future is just so bright. Okay, well, maybe some destruction required, or maybe a lot of it, but you know what? We'll let necessity follow its course and go with the flow always. Sure, go with the flow might have sounded lofty in the past, but you know what? That's no longer the case. And back by science. <coughs> oh yes. Great news, everyone! The Institute of Noetic Sciences, also called IONS, have done something amazing. I mean, it's actually been done for a long time, with nearly 600 experiments over the last 50 years that have been demonstrating this over and over in a multitude of different ways. But so far, the response from the masses has always been, that's just one experiment, and they don't give it the time of day. Similar to how in the Dark Ages, when someone proposed the Earth was round, the response was, meh, preposterous. Today, and thanks to the work of many amazing scientists and awesome lab experiments over the course of recent history, and with the critically important work that IONS has done, there is now a massive tidal wave of scientific evidence to demonstrate one very fundamental thing. Consciousness steers reality. Here's what they did. You know that famous double slit experiment that shows a wave pattern when there is no human observer and a more particle-based pattern when there is a human observer? This is called the wave-particle duality and shows that observation itself collapses the wave function, but so far there hasn't been any explanation for this. Well, except for the one I just mentioned and of course the response being that's ridiculous. Well, what IONS did was they brought in meditators as well as non-meditators both locally and through the internet around the world and between 2012 and 2015 with a great deal of rigorous testing, all the while accounting for every possible variable and alternative explanation, demonstrated that using only an individual's consciousness they could affect and control the results of the double slit experiment. Not only that, but they have generated a five sigma result, which scientifically speaking, means that there is only a one in 3.5 million chance that the experiment's successes were due to random fluctuations. You know, somehow, I told you so, just doesn't quite say it. <laughs> oh well, no need for dramatics. But yeah, that's pretty freaking phenomenal, right? We're actually going to do an even more in-depth video about this in the near future. We're gonna revisit all the older episodes, starting with episode one. So in the meantime, if you wanna learn about this research, you can check out this 40 minute presentation by Dr. Dean Radden, the lead scientist behind these experiments. And I would also like to extend so much love and gratitude for Dean and the entire Institute of Noetic Sciences for doing this work. You guys are truly spirit scientists. And so for this video, since it is a New Year's video, I wanted to just jump onto your YouTube feed or Facebook timeline for a moment to explode some enthusiasm for you because this is very important. And here's why. Every moment we create a new, there is no question based on the results of the way people talked about 2016 that a great number of us had a very rough year, myself included. With the awareness that we are all in the driver's seats, energetically, it may as well be 2012 again. Sure, Donald Trump's about to be president and there's a whole lot of crazy going on in the world right now. But you know, we created all of it and we can create literally anything. We should probably really fix that crazy stuff though. That doesn't look fun for anybody. And so with that, we have a couple more announcements to ring in with the new year as we're getting this spirit ball rolling. <laughs> hey, I said ball, not bomb. Firstly, and probably the most important thing to get off the bat, we are no longer directly participating with the old social media channels. The Spirit Science website, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Tumblr are all in the hands of those who needed it more than we did. And we have gratitude and love for the whole Spirit Kingdom family, for all of their hard work and beautiful creations along with us on our journey these past several years. For those of you who would like to join us in our flow this year, we have just started a new Facebook page called Spirit Central. You can check it out here and stay tuned because we're gonna do our best to have at least a few posts every day with some updates, news, inspiration, and love. Also, you may notice some changes to this YouTube channel in the next little while. We'll be reorganizing some videos and playlists and cleaning up the channel. For example, you may notice that all of the Chakras episodes have been renamed to continuations of episode two, freeing up new slots for new episodes to fill 28 to 30. Also, Patch Parables will be moving to and continuing on the Spirit Studios YouTube channel. We actually still have a few from the last batch that never got posted, so. Looking forward to that. On another note, we had a project many years ago that ultimately only made it as far as the root. And so as of today, we're relaunching this project. It is, of course, the Spirit Shirts. From the bottom of our hearts, we felt really strongly that it was time for some emotional healing. And so this time we're beginning anew with the Sacral. Now these shirts are available on our eShop at the moment, but the quantities are incredibly limited. We were only able to make about 30. 
So all of the proceeds from this batch are ultimately going to be going into the next batch, which at first will be probably released monthly until we are able to expand with a larger and equally loving print crew around the globe. We plan on making a new video all about this project for the Spirit Studios YouTube channel, but there's so much in the fire right now, just expect it sometime in the next month or two. If you want to learn more about the shirts right now, you can watch the original 2012 video right here, or just check the comments below for a link. And that's it for more studio-based, behind-the-scenes updates. But as far as the transformation of the planet goes, the last thing that I'd like to share with you all is this, and the subject is alchemy. So here's the thing. Pretty much everything in existence is an ingredient in some kind of alchemy, because alchemy is simply the fusion of things, of elements and their respective level of energy, which make up everything in existence, in an attempt to recreate the divine, turning lead into gold, in the here and now. Further, the real alchemy is more than just a physical thing. It is the flowing and synthesis of energy that flows through the body, the heart, the mind, and the soul. It is within your consciousness, in the space between, the internal and the external. You are both of them and neither all at the same time. And so for getting started with this new year, no matter when in time you're watching this, because it will be relevant forever, here are some amazing ingredients for you to play with in your consciousness as we begin to shape the world around us with loving, purposeful intent. First and probably the most important, meditation. This should be a regular practice for each and every one of us in that it not only affects and raises our own perspective and actions in relationship to everything that's going on around us, but equally affects the world around us in a very positive way and is one of the most vital practices for shifting the consciousness of the world. And when I say meditation, I mean all forms and modalities, not just sitting meditations, but even active forms of meditation like Qigong and yoga, which can be so very healing to the body and mind. And you know what? Those aren't for everybody. And so if those don't particularly resonate with you, Consider any form of physical activity, even something as simple as walking, to be a form of meditation. One form in particular that I'm quite taken with lately is spinning poi. It's an amazing meditation in and of itself for letting go of the body and learning to flow. The second alchemical ingredient, and perhaps one of the most powerful forms that there is, is what happens in union between souls engaged with each other. For example, snuggling with an animal can be so deeply healing and snuggling with people even more so. Looking into each other's eyes for more than a minute can reveal deep insights between each other, and long hugs can blend energies in the most amazing of ways. Deep and meaningful communication can profoundly rock the foundation of who you think you are. This is going to be vital moving forward because it's time we realize just how connected we really are. Third, we've got our own little tarot card tidal wave coming your way. So the third alchemical ingredient are tarot cards. Simply put, these are a geometric card-based pictographic diagram of the universe, of everything, and through powerful symbolism can take you through the depths of your soul and into higher planes of consciousness. We're making our own deck, and I'll tell you more about those on the end screen. For now, I'll simply say that tarot cards in general are a powerful tool to bring into your meditations and talk about with your spirit family. If you want to get a deck right now, topping our list is always Thoth, followed by the universal weight. The fourth alchemical ingredient is music. Music has healing powers, regardless of who you are or what language you speak. Music is the universal language. So I would like to dedicate this fourth elemental ingredient to all of the musicians in the world who have made music that have touched our hearts. And one in particular who has touched minds, Elijah Ray. on Elijah because I have experienced so much deep healing from listening, meditating, and dancing to his music these last several months, and thus I cannot recommend it enough. Seriously, I don't stop talking about it. It's kind of insane. Lee awesome. So please go and support him on Bandcamp. There's links in the comments and on the end screen. Honestly, one of the greatest things you can do if you aren't already doing it is taking your spirituality seriously. Observe yourself, not only physically, but mentally, emotionally, and spiritually as a complete body of consciousness and listen to what all of you has to say. At the end of the day, none of these ingredients matter without your willingness to grow. The will to learn, to participate in life, to grow, to survive, to feel, to know, all of that comes from within you. Don't stop being, 
In fact, make it a goal to always be in an active state of learning all of the time, receiving information from everything around you. We must always remember to take lessons from everything. It's how we become masterful students in this great wheel of life. Okay, I think that I've pretty much about covered everything. Let's see. Yep, that's it. I've got to get back to working on this new human history movie now. And so in parting, let me just leave you with these four little reminders. You create your own reality. We create our reality together. Love is all there is, and we are all one. Till next time. Thank you so much to all of our Patreon subscribers. Oh my goodness, you are all so beautiful. You are all helping so much to bring this whole thing together. It's actually been really amazing to feel the support from around the world. From the bottom of our hearts, thank you. So, things to check out that were mentioned in this video. First, this science experiment. It's actually really brilliant. And what's even more exciting about it is how easily replicatable the experiment actually is. So if there's any skeptics out there who are like, well, I don't know, it might kind of maybe a little weird, you could probably find some information on their website about how you can replicate the experiment yourself. Second, the Spirit Studios eShop. This came about as a result of working on the tarot cards and the rebirthing of the spirit shirts. And not to mention, I have that book that I promise I'm gonna finish one day. But ultimately, anything that goes up on there will be a handmade item by us or our family. And since commerce is not even really our highest focus right now, don't expect a big fancy e-store anytime soon. But as it relates to what's on there, the first wave of spirit shirts are up, but probably sold out by now, but you can watch the original shirts video here. The first edition of Patch Tarot is also up, which comes with a 70 page ebook called the Book of Patch. And it's actually very pretty, and has some really good information in it too. Spirit Central Facebook is right over here. We're gonna get some stuff rolling on there too, but it's also less important than making videos right now, so we're just gonna let it grow organically. And of course, the music of Elijah Ray. Here's his Bandcamp link and his YouTube. This man just embodies Christ consciousness, and his music is encoded with patterns which inspire the DNA to activate. Have a listen, you won't be disappointed. I think that's about it. I have to stop this video at some point. So you guys have a great um, time. We'll see you. See you. We'll, um, what was that? Light is on the menjay. <laughs> that was from I Love You Man. It's a movie. It's really good. Go watch it. You create your reality. We create our reality.